And what I'm going to do in this video is get rid of all this stuff over on the right sidebar and fix it up a little bit. All right, how do we do that? Let's go back here. We're inside Appearance, World Web Options. And we're going to first get rid of this stuff right here and bring this video up. That's pretty easy to do. Just highlight these and delete them. All right, now let's go down and save changes. And come back here and refresh. Okay, now let's put a video here that relates to what I'm doing here, which is internet marketing training and the teachers that are going to be in this online school. And all we need to do is find the number on YouTube of the video that we want to use. This is a YouTube video number, so I'm going to go find one and replace this with one of mine. Here I am inside of my YouTube channel. I don't have our faculty uh, website page put together yet, so what I'm going to do is actually use the advisory board of the founding members of this this Sakura project or this online institution too. So anyway, let's highlight this right here, copy it, let's take it back to the World Web site, paste it right here. Now, let's save changes here and come back and refresh and that should be my video right here. There we are. And eventually I'm going to be doing a video on the faculty of course, but for now this will do. So now what we do is let's get rid of all of this stuff on the sidebar and I'm actually going to add a contact form. We'll get rid of this advertising here too or you can rent out advertising space on your website after it gets important enough. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff over here. First, we go over here to widgets. All we need to do is just left click on all of this stuff and bring it over here and drop it. Now I'll show you what that did. Refresh this. And the reason I'm getting rid of the search bar is because I have one up here. And we have archives and calendar. Quite a few here yet. Let's get rid of them. But first, let's just pick up the text in here. One of these actually say text on it right there. Left click, drag it up there. Open it. And let's just put here. Our free newsletter. Click save. Come back here. Refresh this. And everything is gone. So I'm going to go and find HTML coding from my Traffic Wave Autoresponder and place it right here. All I need to do is just paste it. Save. Let's close this up now. And let's go back and see how that looks. Okay, now I'm going to actually add the feeds widget and it will tell us where our traffic is coming from. And that's pretty easy to do. We just need to find it in here. Right here, left click, drag it over. Save. Close. Back here and refresh. And here is our feedjet. Now anytime anyone comes on this site, this will let me know how they got there, where they came from, and so on. Now let's, instead of getting rid of this, I'm just going to put an image here. Alright, how do I do that? Well, for starters, I come back here and come inside of the World Web Settings. 
and where it says where are sidebar bottom banner all right this is the URL for that image now I need to bring an image into this website first so let's go to media add new and I'm going to go and find an image of course and the image size is 250 by 250 okay let's go find that image organized folders graphics and I know it's called PDIMI let's see if that's the right one properties 250 by 250 maybe mm. no that's 200 by 200 so that's the wrong one there we are right there open and again here is the file URL copy it save all changes now let's take it over so you can see what it looks like and there it is and that is the image that's going to be placed right here okay to do that oh, you need to go like this a space href equals img space src equals quotations quotations rate between the quotations put your cursor paste the URL for that image and we highlight this and copy it go back inside of world web options and find out where that advertisement space was right here paste it now let's save changes and let's go over and refresh this page there we are so we change that advertising space into an image here all right it's pretty cool pretty easy once you know how to do it okay at this point there's not a whole lot left that I can do until I do a couple of posts because you can see over on this site up at the top these are actually my images right here and my sliders but on this new website they're not they they come with the theme actually so in order to get our own images and sliders we need to have two posts minimum on a website so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to probably use the videos that I've made so far to do posts for this website so I will see you in the next video.